honor you, Baba, I honor you. I thank God for this bright morning. Uh, I gave my name last Sunday. I wanted to thank God for being here. Last Saturday, it was my second anniversary to celebrate in this church. Amen. Amen. Uh, before I came here, we had moved from Kariopangi to this area. Not Kariopangi at all, Kariopangi, ball down there. So as we came here, I was in a very big problems. I was not even happy in my life. I wasn't even talking to my children, to my, my, my husband. I just wanted to sit alone to think about my life. So after a while, I heard about this church. My neighbor told me about this church. The day it was just opening. So I came here on a Sunday. Papa was here. When I came here, I was praying about my husband. He had come just around here to do some work. But that work was not keeping me happy, even with my children. Even my children was looking at him. Ah, now, Daddy, is this the work he has decided to do? It was really a very bad work. I was not happy even in that family that we came. So when I was just praying, God, let this, this man to leave this work, just to do something small. That is this pussy work and as to kasirika na mwambi wacha kasi. So I was just... <laughs> I was just praying. Because I work as a kuni fraisha at our daughter work. Yani is always busy. It's all even time to bed. Kaukwanganayo. So the time I came here on Sunday, when this church was opening, then Papa, Grandpa prayed for us and said, Whatever you have you had been praying for long, let God do it from now. It just took only a week. Then my husband came one day, she sat down there and said, ah, if I can just get a fair, I can go to Eldoret. They have called me there. I said, God, do it, even that fair give me so that I can give him to leave this family and go. So God did that one, go do wonders. That evening he came, he started preparing himself. Then he wake up very early in the morning, Sakumi. When that shosho come? Just give her this key and tell her, tell her you don't know where I've gone to. Then I say, yes, I'll just do it. Because I'm happy he has left that bomber. I, when that shock Sakumi Nampili on my door, knocking, looking for him. What is this man? It's time to milk the cows. He has not, I just say, me, I don't know where he has gone. Then I gave her the key. That woman really talks a lot on my door there. He said, huh? He has left my job. Huh? You have ignored me that I've helped you. Food, what and what I've helped you. So, I'm telling you, you will live in troubles. You will stay in troubles all the days of your life. You will not see anything in your life. You will die on that road with your children. And that time I have a child that it doesn't have even a kilo. I, I remember, you, I, I give that testimony of that girl. She didn't have even a kilo. So I say, God, what is this woman talking to me? Huh? You will live with problems. You will die. Even now, I'm going to call the owner of this house to close this door so that you can sleep on bushes there with your children. Because your husband has done me very bad to leave my job without a permission. I say, it's well. Then she went, and I just shut my eyes and say, God, whatever she has talked right now, let those words follow her. Let them follow her. Don't try to leave those words to turn it for me with my children. Let me tell you, I was now serving in this judge. The, it was now two weeks. When I was just coming here, Mama gave us food. We eat. We eat Indomie. We eat Mochelle. So I was telling my children, just to cook it. <laughs> she has told us, we will die because of hungry. We will not even have a, a food. So I was telling my daughter, just we are cooking outside there and she's passing somewhere there going to a shamba. Cook it. We want her to, to store. We, we are not going to die. So my husband went to El 
for a month. It was December. He came back on Christmas Day. When he came back, I was just praying God, let him to follow me in that church so that you can serve it all. So when he came, he found even food. Enough food in the house. Mucheri say, okay, unka, whatever. <laughs> so I was really happy in this church. Mama has helped us. Third, sure, sure. Even if right now, she don't want to, to see even my children. She don't want. She always follows. When she, uh, my husband has gone somewhere to work, she's, she's there talking, 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 what and what, what and what. And me, I just, ha, ah, she's ashamed. She's really ashamed because of us. When she sees us walking, even right now, moving from this church, she feels very bad, very bad. But I thank God. It's now two years. Amen. She was praying for us to die. We have not died. We have Amen. Not died. Amen. As Amen. Amen. God, we are the child. That child that she was praying, she, she will die. This child, small child, she will die. She's there. She's healthy. Amen. She's growing day and Amen. night. She's a happy girl. Oh, yes. So, I thank you, Mama, because. You have heard a, a lot about my husband. But for your goodness and mercy, you have not taken it very bad to chase him out. You are still with him. Thank you, Mama. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Amen. Celebrate Jesus.